<laughs> hey, from Canada. I got my uh, new favorite shirt on, Freedom Artist. Uh, we are, speaking of freedom, yesterday was 4th of July. We had a fun time uh, cooking wieners and cracking jokes by the uh, fireplace and we just worked our ass off, as you saw in uh, the last video. But uh, during a bus build, Mike, Michael will We'll just have to have some nods over here in the background if we agree or disagree. During a bus build, there are often times where you have a plan and then you change course 180 degrees. <laughs> you guys suck. <laughs> Anyways, this thing is going back to the junkyard. Uh, I was a little concerned about the height of it and if I got high centered for everyone else in plain English, that just means getting stuck in the middle if I was going over a train track because it hangs down pretty low. So it looks like I'm gonna spend an arm and a leg and get a custom tank so uh, but that's all right it's a fixed cost and once I'm on veggie oil it should be smooth sailing super cheap uh, from that point forward you guys have anything to add yeah they, they don't want your arm and the leg because they have free health care up here oh true <laughs> um, this guy's the smartest cowboy by the way because he sits in the middle Oh. He doesn't have to drive or open the gate. So. Uh, that's right. Let's put him on. Yeah, but I also have to sit on the, the hump of the transmission. Get to. You get True. To. Oh, yeah, let's, get to. let's put you on GoPro duties today during the drive. Oh, come on. Also, a very special uh, thank you to the Hippie Geeks for uh, joining Patreon. Uh, I very much appreciate it. remember when we accidentally walked into the wrong fabricating place. Turns out, it's a, a, if I didn't mention before, it's a friend of Badge's. So uh, we're going to go in and talk to him about uh, custom making a tank. Because I just have my doubts about that one. <coughs> oh, thank you. I conveniently <laughs> forgot to get Rocky on camera, but... Um, oh, we did. We did. But I was asking if there was uh, anything else we could basically salvage a repurpose and uh, he said no basically because a bracket is cast and we're not going to do anything round. Um, how are you feeling after that chocolate milk and uh, sitting on the transmission? Run, 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 run. <laughs> <laughs> that pretty much sums it up. Anyways, we're back at Provincial Powertrain. What are we looking for? We're looking for a couple 12 volt fans. Uh, oh crap, we forgot to get the grinder with us. Oh, no, it's alright. I purposely didn't bring it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, no, I got, I got a chisel. There should be a chisel in that. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, we're going to grab something for the side, and I don't know, since we're here, maybe Dean's going to get a tire for Alaska? Yeah. All right. Give it to Alaska. Perfect. <laughs> don't well, import, import in your without further forward. ado. Oh, yeah, and we brought back, back the tank if that wasn't already obvious. Oh, by the way, oh. Dean's, so Dean's get, needs a, a <laughs> spare tire and rim. Wait, it's missing the center part. Dean! We don't, we don't care. What do you mean? We, we, just, need the, we don't need the rim, he just wants the tire as a spare. Yeah, but it would be so much easier if he had both, right? Or no? He's not going to be able to change on the southern anyway. Ah, uh, okay. Right you just need an air impact, because you got the air tank uh, valve now, buddy. Anyways, so we're hunting for tires. <clears throat> um, <laughs> I don't know, like, if that's normal, like, what's going on with those tires? Like, a bunch of rims, but they're, they're all missing the inside part. There's got to be some semi-truck thing that I'm not familiar with because they all have them like that. And I'm sure somebody out there watching this video is a truck tire. And uh, I'm sure I'll learn in the comments, so thank you in advance. See any fans in there? No. All right, we made it over to school bus. Yeah, Dean's in love with stick shift buses. Me too, me too. Really? Yeah, you hate them. You guys, are, you guys are nuts. The first, the first non-stick shift or manual vehicle I owned was my school bus. Everything I ever drove was... <laughs> These guys are crazy. So, um... Dude, Just to, to point something out, they stripped out uh, the engines out of these things, probably to uh, DT-466 International. That's the same engine I have over there. Oh yeah, Dean's, Dean's pulling spare fuses out. We're, uh, two of us are looking for uh, fans. Oh, dude, look at this. What? Oh, <laughs> oh. By the way, these came off of uh, the where I raced the uh, school buses. I guess the monster trucks ran over these ones. That's why they're uh, those, that wasn't an accident. It was monster truck. Um, 
But uh, yeah, we're just looking for like little 12 volt fans like those right there. Part of the mission is accomplished. I got one fan, however, I want two fans that match just because, I don't know. And Mr. Michael is excited to open this thing. What are you expecting to find in here? I don't know, fans. but I just want to say that me and Dean feel like we're on one of those like, uh, like video games where you like are searching through the junkyard and you like open an old box and it's like, you found a hammer. Because I literally found this hammer in a box, and, and now we're gonna we're open this for. thing. What video game is this? I don't, I don't know. It's just like the, you know, the ones where you're like, it's called Hammer know. Time. Yeah, Hammer Time. All right, let's but see what's. We want to see what's in here. This might be super climactic. God, this sounds like Storage Wars. All right, open the All damn right. thing already. Uh, what is? What? That? There's something in here. <laughs> what is uh, it? It says hotel. Oh my God! It's a sign. Oh my God! <laughs> and a steering wheel. Yeah, Two steering wheels. And oh. some drum brakes. <laughs> Wait, I think I saw that on Super Troopers. <laughs> it says hotel. Yeah, it's awesome. All right, next score of the uh, junkyard. I got myself a uh, Cobra 29. Um, with I took the mounting brackets on the back side. Here's a power cord. So uh, looks like we're in good shape. And uh, just got to get myself a little handheld thing, and then uh, the antenna. Uh, actually, just the cable because I already stripped out the antenna the other day. Here's the update. Found a possible secondary tank, possible primary tank. Got a little filter. We got some goodies. Got another uh, CB antenna. Somebody's gonna use that one. Uh, and then we're gonna load up a bunch of wooden stuff like that at the hardware store. Insulation, ice shield type stuff that's gonna be used for uh, noise control, noise insulation. And then we're gonna start putting on the subfloor in the bus. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today's the day. Looks like we got 10% off as well. Brown pressure treated. Hmm. Okay, we're getting plywood. We're getting two by fours. We're finally doing the deal. Are you excited about this? Yeah. I thought we were done. Smell the enthusiasm, oh, I everyone. I thought we finished the bus. Smell it. I thought it was done. Enthusiastic. I, I didn't know we were putting wood in this thing. <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. All right, we got our uh, OSB which is kind of like plywood, just cheaper. We've got our two by fours and uh, one by threes. Or no, two by threes. And then now we got this uh, R9. This is the insulation factor. One and a half inch board. So uh, we're looking pretty good here. All right, here's the hull. This is what we got. The stuff and the other stuff and the crap. <laughs> Why? Why? But you guys both used it on your buses, so how can you hate well, it if you both used because it? Because I made a mistake by using it. I hated uh -huh. it because I did it. Uh -huh. I the same as me. Uh, by the way, these things were significantly less OSB. Not the greatest stuff, apparently. I uh, didn't use it on the last one. I used uh, MDO, which is $80 a piece. These were like 25 know. Canadian, which is like 20 US. I liked it. You know, you know they call me the deal maker? No, they don't. No, they, they don't, don't, but they I just don't made call this you up. Alright, all. All guys, check this out. This is normally $152. It's like a water barrier. Because it was so beat up and torn up, I went to the manager and I said, hey, instead of 150 bucks, nobody's gonna buy this thing. How about you give it to me for 50 bucks? And guess what they said? Yes. Wait, wait, wait. No, wait, wait, wait. You were that guy? Yeah. You realize you're the reason why businesses fall apart because you're the guy who has to harass the manager. Actually, totally he thanked me for coming up to him because he said <laughs> nobody would buy this thing and no. he just would like to get rid of it off the shelf. So if you ever yeah, see something really deal. torn up, just don't be afraid to ask because I got this thing 60% off. So let's go over what I got at Home Depot. Um, this stuff was uh, Henry's brand. Um, some kind of like waterproofing and it looked like it went on behind the siding on a, on a home. I'm not really familiar with this product. Um, so I don't know if it's the same thing as Ice Shield or not because I've never used Ice Shield or this before. But we have this, uh, see there's a dude with a cool little helmet on. He's putting this stuff up vertically. So. This and this is kind of the same thing. Uh, well, the idea is the same thing, right? So this is to prevent moisture from you know, going in the roof. And the reason I'm using this stuff 
to reiterate is to um, deaden the sound uh, with this rubber tar based stuff. So, got this cool little thing at the junkyard. Just gonna upgrade my CB. We snagged a CD, uh, sorry, CB with a power cord. 12 volt fan, keep me nice and cool. I do want to have matching ones just in the back. Uh, so, um, I don't know, just to make it nice looking. Dean, what else do we get? Chicken and fries. Oh, <laughs> that's right, you got chicken. <laughs> um, we found uh, this uh, triangle, emergency triangle. It looks like it's never been used, so Fuse just in case. Floor. Yeah, it's just one of those things, like just in case. Grab Dean got a fuses ton bushings. of fuses, and um, I think this is a, a radiator. Sing, uh, bu uh, was it bushing? bushing? Yeah, it goes for the radiator. What's that? An you did not get an umbrella. I found an umbrella. That's hilarious. And a scraper. If I found a scraper. <laughs> one of the, that's, what, that's what I go to the junkyard for is an umbrella and a scraper. <laughs> You'll find the, the weirdest stuff in, in old trucks and, and cars and stuff like that. Um, got a couple straps. Got all that stuff. And then, of course, this is for the subfloor. Um, so, yeah, just a crap ton of wood and insulation. Uh, we also have, we also have a, uh, special appearance. You guys have met them before, uh, coming here in about a half an hour, so we'll check in when they get here. Alright, we got some special guests, they're here. I'll give you a hint. You guys have seen them before. It's the Nomadic Movement! <laughs> What's going on, guys? Nothing! How's the drive up here? It was great. It was, it was really nice. It was good. Beautiful. First impressions of Squatterville? Uh, pretty squatty. Exactly Sorry. what I expected it to be. <laughs> uh, cool. So, um, everybody, well, um, Dean and these two are heading up to Alaska eventually, right? Yeah. Sometimes. The next couple of weeks. But we, we get our next amigo. Whenever we but we've been, yeah, exactly. We've been hijacking Dean to help us make stuff, but uh, I'm so glad everybody could stop by because uh, you guys would have to go by this area anyways and might as well just hang out and, you know, grab a shower and a bite to eat. And Lola needed a little break anyways. I haven't seen Lola in a while. Lola's making friends with Patch, so <laughs> everything is good. Hi, Lola. Hey. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Uh-oh. Watch out.